everybody, welcome back to the channel and thanks for checking in. Today I'm going to do a video on the uh, Dickinson XXDM 2 12 gauge pump action tactical shotgun. Alright, uh, this is a nice gun. I took it to the range a couple times. I have a small video on that. Um, so, I'm going to do an install with a, on a flashlight. It comes with a Picatinny rail here. Alright, it comes with uh, this muzzle brake. Also has a, a nice set of ghost ring sights. I don't know how well you're going to see that with this camera, but it's got ghost ring sights there. Um, it's got a, a red fiber optic front sight there. Uh, this gun holds five in the chamber and one in the in the in the in the pipe. Alright. Um unloaded of course as usual. You know how we do here, everything safety first. It uh has a nice rubber a nice rubber grip. So you can get a good firm grip on this gun. It's got a piece of rubber back here so your shoulder stock doesn't doesn't slide up and down this is plastic it's got five extra capacity uh, shells here it comes with a, a mount for a sling either here or here you can mount the sling and the other side mounts here all right it's got a heat shield over the barrel it's got a Picatinny rail here uh, the gun comes just as you see it here. All right, I didn't do anything to this gun. I didn't add anything, but um, I'm going to put a flashlight, a tactical flashlight, on this Picatinny right here because I feel that every gun should have some kind of lighting, especially if you're going to use it in home defense, which is what I do. Um, I took this thing to the range, as I said previously. Now the range that I go to is a, is a public range in the state game lands and I'm limited to what I can do there. In other words, um, the game commissioner only wants six rounds loaded into any firearm, which is okay with this because it's five plus one. So that's okay with this. But um, like I can't put more than six rounds in any gun and shoot it at this range because like I said I, I'm limited to what I can do there and to what I can shoot that's why you never see me shooting targets such as uh, gallons of milk or gallons of water or, or frozen blocks of water, of, of water so you don't see me shoot anything like that because I'm limited to what I can do there and uh, I apologize for that okay but I'm going to show you a quick video of me shooting this gun right and when I come back the uh, flashlight is going to be mounted on this way you guys can take a look at the gun overall but it's a good gun it's uh that the safety is here by the trigger whereas on the Mossberg everybody knows it's up here so I got the safety down here by the trigger and um it's a real nice gun, nice gun this finish the M uh, is probably for the marine finish this thing is already rust resistant or rust proof uh, with this nickel like finish it's a matte finish uh, it's, it's sleek I've, I've never really seen anything like this before All right, I'm not going to do a takedown okay on this gun to, to show you guys how to clean it I'm just bringing you the gun just presenting it to you so you can see what it looks like today alright and then after I put the light on you can take a look at it all right, so again, this is a Dickinson XX3DM2 model. All right, nice gun. Uh, it's about 200 bucks for this shotgun. It's made in Turkey, I believe. I believe it was made in Turkey. But look, I ran, I ran some rounds through this, and I didn't have any problem with it. It, it functioned well. It, uh, it ran through the shells. Very nice, and uh, this is plastic, not rubber. It, it, it would have been nice if this 
uh, if the pump was rubber like the handle and like the stock back here. But, you know, it's got a groove here so you can put your fingers in, you know, your thumb on one side. And you, this way you could rack the slide or pump the gun. But, um, it's really nice. So, let me take you to that video and then uh, when we come back, I'll have the flashlight mounted on here. Alright, sit tight. This is the uh, Dickinson. 5 plus 1. But I only had five rounds, so they're all in here. But uh, this is the pump, and this also has five plus one. like that little video clip like I said I'm limited to what I could do at the range there but uh, I just wanted to show you a little something all right and uh, I'm gonna tell you about this uh, this uh, flashlight now all right some of the things I like about it and some of the things I don't like about it and then you know you guys can make your own opinion from there okay one thing I like about it that the, uh, the Picatinny rail clamp and the flashlight housing is one solid piece so you're not bolting a flashlight to a clamp and a clamp to the rail all right it's one solid piece it's it's a uh, 200 lumens it comes with the, with this here tail switch and it's on off only okay so you press it it's on you let it go it's it's off there's no modes there's, I know some flashlights got three modes five modes uh, with a strobe I don't particularly care for any of that. I just want the light to come on, do what I got to do, turn the light off, move, turn it back on, do what I got to do. All right? Um, the, the, this here, is, it's a little long, but that's okay. It's better to have too much than too, than too little. Okay, so, and it comes with two batteries. It comes with two batteries. They're not rechargeable. They have to be replaced. Um, the, the, the flashlight itself, it doesn't zoom in expand it's on it's a nice beam it's a concentrated beam it's um it's a nice flashlight okay uh you get this it's, it looks like an allen key but if you look closely it's a torx i don't know if you guys can see that but it's a torx head which i don't particularly like because this is the only wrench i have like this one for this you know usually it comes in an allen wrench and you can always find an Allen wrench to, you know, tighten or loosen what it is you have to tighten or loosen. But this is, it came unique to be a Torx, which I don't care for that. It comes with two 3M, uh, uh, 3M backing Velcro. Okay, so it's Velcro. You put that on your tail switch. You mount the other one on the gun. And, and you put that on the tail switch. You mount the other one on the gun. And the way you do that, you get a little alcohol, uh, a little swab of alcohol, and you clean the gun, you clean the back of the tail switch, and this 3M, temps, uh, the 3M tape sticks fantastically, all right? Uh, and that's about it. It's made, made from Monstrum, right? And again, I'm not sponsored by anyone. I'm doing this on my own. Uh, I got it for, from Amazon, and I think it was like... 30, 40 bucks, something like that. So it's not expensive. 200 lumens, it's a solid unit. I like it. It's, I, I feel it's going to work well. Um, and that's basically it. All right. So this one looks like complete. Like right? the complete gun. It's a nice gun. Reli I think it's reliable. Okay. I didn't even clean this thing yet. Okay. I took it out of the box. And I took it to the range. It comes in a nice plastic, hard plastic case with the uh, foam inside. Okay, so that's the, that's the case that it comes in. Um, what more can I say about this? You know, it's, you can put here if you want to 
put a, uh, a red dot, you want to put a red dot on this rail, or you want to put a, a, a reflex sight, or something like that, you can put that up here. Uh, the ghost rings, on, uh, they're adjustable for windage and elevation on the, the ghost ring. And so, nice gun. I'm, I'm glad I bought it. For 200 bucks, you're not going to beat it. I'm glad I bought it. Alright? So, well, that's going to conclude today's video. Uh, I hope you liked the video. Uh, please subscribe, like, share. And um, with that being said, okay, be safe. Be smart and be strong. Over weekend 18 and I'm out. Peace.